Luke Lukewarm don't get it. The lazy won't get it. The disobedient will never even see it. Hallelujah. So tonight I want to pray for you for this. Let me read quickly to you. Jesus is awesome. Amen. Here is my servant, verse 18. Here is my servant whom I have chosen. Now this is for Jesus, but it's also for those who follow his example. Amen. Every promise that is for Jesus is also for you. Amen. Amen. Here is my servant whom I have chosen, the one I love, in whom I, I delight. In which one will Jesus delight? In which one will the Father delight? The one who walked like Jesus and never give up. Amen. Now Jesus became a, a man. God became a man. And as a man, he conquered death and hell and sin on our behalf. He never gave in to one sin. So all of a sudden, there's hope for the whole human race. Give God a hand. When he died on a cross without ever committing one sin, although in a sinful body, there was all of a sudden hope for millions and millions of people that they can get the same by faith in the conqueror. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. A trailblazer works like this. If you race, if you know anything about racing, especially motorcycle racing, but also car racing. Now, I was a motorcycle racer. If you race motorcycle, and there's a faster guy before you, you go and sit in his slipstream. He creates a slipstream in a vacuum, in which if you know exactly where the vacuum is, you don't need so much power. You just go and sit in his slipstream. And he draw you, and you just float. You use little power, and you sit behind him, and you can even overtake him at the right time. A trailblazer is like one who's going in front. Others go in his slipstream. Jesus was the first one, but many others follow. That's why you should never boast. Because what you've got can come from someone to begin with. And in the beginning, Jesus. Give him a hand. It is to your benefit to sit in another man's slipstream. All of you in this church sit in my slipstream. Give God a hand. You benefit from this ministry. I mean, and I benefit from Jesus. <laughs> Give Jesus a hand. I sit in his slip. I mean, and you sit in my slip, so we all sit together in the slip of Jesus. Give him a hand. But this is the way it's working. What I want to say to you is this. If you get your breakthrough, someone can go and sit in your slipstream and say, if it's possible with her, it's possible with me. So it's important for you to get your breakthrough, not only for your sake, but for the sake of others. You give them hope. They say, if she could get it from Jesus, I can get it from Jesus as well. And never boast, because the main slip come from Jesus. He created a vacuum of our protection and our power. We call that grace and faith. We call that faith or grace by faith. Say this vacuum, I call grace by faith. I skin grace by faith because someone has done it before me. And because Jesus has done it, other people have done it, and you can sit in this slip. If someone has done it, another person has done it, you know I can do it too. Hallelujah. Don't you copy me. But you can sit in a slip. And enjoy the benefits of, of trailblazer. First, Jesus. Say, first one, Jesus. Do you understand? I mean, so you need to make a slip for someone else. You need to make it easier for someone else. Hallelujah. And you make it easier for someone else if you are, are, are not lazy, you're obedient, you're not lukewarm, you go and get it in a spiritual realm from the first trailblazer, Jesus. Hallelujah. And you create a vacuum where others can also enjoy the benefit of flowing together in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you okay? Say, Jesus, the one who went before me. Amen. Listen to him. I will put my spirit on him and he will proclaim justice to the nations. He will not quarrel or cry out. No one will hear his voice in the street. streets. A bruised reed he will not break, and a smoldering wick 
he will not snuff out till he leads justice to victory. Say, till he leads justice to victory. Say, my God is the God of justice. Till he leads justice to victory. In his name, the nations will put their hope. And God's name is in his name. Say, God's name is in his name. Again, God's name is in his name. Let me give you quickly another example of the first trailblazer, Jesus Christ. Turn quickly to Isaiah. Then we can pray. 59, Isaiah 59, verse 50. Say, till he lead justice to victory. Amen. Everyone who loves Jesus loves justice. Verse 15. Truth is nowhere to be found, and whoever shuns evil becomes a prey. The Lord looked in the old days and was displeased that there was no justice. He was displeased that there was no justice. Previous scripture, till he leads justice to victory. He was displeased there was no justice. I read this again for you to understand. Truth is nowhere to be found, he discovered. And whoever shuns evil becomes a prey. The Lord looked and was displeased that there was no justice. He saw there was no one. He was appalled that there was no one to intervene. So his own arm worked salvation for him. Meaning he became a man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said there was no one, no one, no one. No one that could lead justice to victory. There was no justice or truth. I mean, and then his own arm, I mean, he was appalled that there was no one to intervene. So his own arm worked salvation for him. And his own righteousness sustained him. He had, he did not, he had no one's righteousness to trust in. He had his own righteousness had to save him. Today you are righteous because of your faith in him. Because he did it. He did it. And because he did it, many others receive hope. In the same way, when you do it, many others say, oh, she got healed, I can get healed too. Amen, God. He is on the rook, he can also on rook. Alweer die rook. Ach, as a blief, pastoor. Wie van hem moet skoon longe dood gaan? Nee. Ek sê vir jou, ek van moet skoon longe dood gaan. That's why I'm going on about smoking. Jeez, Jesus could save me from smoking. He can save anyone. Pastor, you don't understand. I'm suffering with this smoking business. <laughs> I don't judge, please. I know what it is to try to stop smoking without Jesus. I know what it is to dry stompies in the middle of the night after you quit it, but at midnight, the desire overcome you. And you look in the dustbin for all the stompies. And you put them and you make a big zaw to save your life. In one morning they said, tonight if you want to be baptized, come and be baptized. And then, and I thought, I'm going to be there. This is the answer. And I was excited to get to church that night to be baptized. And before the meeting, a pastor, Roy Bossinger of Hatfield, he said, if you are still smoking, you will be free today. If you are still drinking alcohol, liquor, you will be free today. I said, this is my time. I went into that bath by faith, and I got up by faith. I never touched those nonsense again. Give God a hand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Please, I don't condemn you if you're smoking. I just want you to be free. Please. I don't condemn anyone. I don't judge anyone. Jesus wants you to be free. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Whatever you struggle with, Jesus wants you to be free. Whether it's financial problems, whether it's fear, doubt, unbelief, inferiority, Jesus wants to set you free. Hallelujah. He saw that there was no one who... And he was appalled. There was no one to intervene. So his own arm worked salvation for him. 
and his own righteousness sustained him. He put on righteousness as his breastplate and the helmet of salvation on his head. He put on the garment of vengeance. Say, vengeance against Satan. Say, you're in trouble, devil. And wrapped himself in zeal as a, a cloak. In zeal. Say, in zeal. Say to the, to the promises of God. He's hidden in the spiritual realm. And those who are clothed with zeal, they will get them. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. According to what they have done, so will he repay wrath to his enemy. Say, Satan, you're in trouble. Give God a Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. So the Lord is not pleased with those who shrink back, but He's pleased with those who exercise faith and believe even in the face of difficult circumstances, still pressing on, seeing, Lord, I'm going to get the promises there in the spiritual world. 